Hello, good evening, class. Welcome, Daniel, Lap, uh, Nival. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, Johnny. Welcome. How are you guys? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Okay, guys, welcome back. We're about to start. Uh, just give me some seconds and we're going to start sharing. Okay. Well, we have a lot of activities for today. And in the previous class, we were uh, talking about some countable and uncountable nouns, right? So we'll continue with the topic and we will continue with some more things related to that. Okay. Um, so just to start, we're gonna have a, a short exercise uh, related to the countable and uncountable nouns. So we'll see how well you do it, okay? Okay, so just let me share and we're going to start. Couple of seconds, perfect. Okay, so as we mentioned previously um, in uncountable nouns, uh, can be related right to abstract ideas, to objects, to substances or materials, right? So we're going to try to find out which of the following words are countable or uncountable. Or okay, so just let me open that and let's see how well we do it. Okay, so I'm gonna share the link with you so you can start doing it. Okay, so you can click on the meeting chat and you can open that. So we can work uh, together with the exercise. Okay, I have already sent it to you. Yeah, se los compartí. And now we have to classify which of the following words are countable or uncountable. So let's say, look at the words that we have over here. We have biscuit, uh, salt, cream, cherry, pineapple, sausage, coffee, grape, cheese, banana, yogurt, water, pasta, meat, burger, mushroom, apple juice, sandwich, tomato, plum, a pear juice, uh, rice, potato, ham, peanut, and tea. So now it's a... Uh, Let's say it's a task. Okay, countable or uncountable. So you can start doing that. Okay, ya lo pueden abrir, ya lo pueden abrir. Does it work? Funciona? Me avisan ahí si le funciona el inglés. Carmen, welcome. Sí, funciona. Okay, uh, perfect. Uh, Fernando, welcome. Fernando, Calvin. Welcome, boys. And Francisco, welcome. Okay, countable or uncountable? Let's see. So let me know when you're about to finish. Okay, Fernando. Oh, okay, Aníbal. Okay, that's Carmen, I think. Perfecto, Fernando. Ya, ya lo tenemos por ahí. Okay, so, um, well, since most of us are, well, most of you, right, are as a listener, are as listeners right now, let's try to do it together, right? Countable or uncountable? So we have a countable side. So what do you think? Biscuit is countable or uncountable? Ideas? Biscuit. So what's a biscuit? Contable. 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 Okay. How about salt? Uncountable. 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 Cheese. Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, perfect. Pasta. 
Uncountable. Countable. Okay, uncountable. Okay, apple juice. Uncountable. Uncountable. And how about this one? Fruit juice. Uncountable. 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 Okay, how about ham? What is ham? Uh huh. So what's ham, by the way? What's that? Ham. Ham. It's a type of meat. Yeah. Uncountable. Uncountable. El jamón. So it's ham. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Right. Cream. What do you think about cream? Cream. Brain, what do you think about the word cream? Uncountable. Uncountable? Okay, uncountable. How about cherry? Cherry. Countable. Countable. Okay, cherry. Banana, what do you think? Countable. Countable, right? Okay, perfect. Meat. Countable. Countable. Hmm. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 Okay. Sandwich. Countable. Countable. Rice. Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, perfect. Peanut. Any idea? Uncountable. Uncountable. You sure? So what's peanut? My knee. Ah, okay. So it could be the countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, so we'll check that. But, okay. About pineapple? Countable. Countable. Okay. Sausage. Uncountable. Uncountable. Sure. Okay, so you think it's uncountable? Actually, these two are countable words. The peanut, okay. Oh, I don't know how they have arranged them. About yogurt, ideas? Yogurt? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Burger? Countable. Countable, okay. Tomato? Countable. Ah, okay. You, you said countable. Okay. Tomato. Countable. Potato. Countable. Countable. Okay. Tea. Uncountable. Uncountable. Coffee. Uncountable. Yes, right. Grape. Countable. Countable. Okay. Water. Uncountable. Uncountable. And mushroom and plum. Mm -hmm. Okay, los, los hongos. And the plum, what's a plum? Plum? Yes, what's a plum, guys? Countable. Countable. So what's a plum? Have you seen them? Well. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, perfect. So now we'll continue. I'm gonna send you the screenshot so you can have these two classifications, right? Okay, so the picture is in the meeting chat. So now let's see, we'll continue because we have a lot of activities and we will continue with um, 
well, with our class, right? So previously we were talking about um, that is and that are right. So, but before doing that, we needed to understand what a countable or uncountable noun is. So look at this, uh, there is and there are. So we're going to analyze how to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. Johnny, please help us reading the information for there is and there are. Read the information. Okay. Uh, we use there ah, is. Lo voy a poner ahí un poco más grande. Yeah. Listen. Um, we use there is or there are to give you to give new information about something that exists or sometimes that is present. Okay, something, something that exists, something. something. Okay. That exists. So okay. we use this, we use this uh, expression, this phrase, in order to talk about or to provide more information about something, right, that we are going to mention or talk about, right? And when we use that is and that are, it's basically, uh, well, when we say, right, in Spanish, uh, I, right? And we have two forms. We have a singular form and we have a plural form. Let's look at the examples. Daniel, can you read the examples, please? In my bedroom, there is a television. television. Okay. In the living room, there are three armchairs. Okay. There are four pictures in the dining room. Okay, dining, dining room. Dining room, dining room. In the garden, there are some flowers. Okay. There is a car in the garage. In my house, there are two telephones. Okay, in my house, there are two telephones. So as you notice, we use uh, the phrase in order to express, right, the existence of something in a location, right? So in my bedroom, there is a television. In the living room, there are three armchairs, right? There are four pictures in the dining room. In the garden, there are some flowers. There is a car in the garage. In my house, there are two telephones. So now we're going to try to create uh, some examples. Look at this, there is and there are. Uh, look at this, we have there is four singular things, right? Only one thing, right? Example, there is a boy. How many boys? Only one, right? Only one. There is a book. How many books? Just one, right? There is an apple. How many apples? One apple. So you don't have to have that clear, right? There is four singular objects, things, or, well, if, even if you want to mention a, a person, right? There is a car. There is a woman, okay? And we also have the plural form when you talk about two or more things. Examples, there are two oranges. So it means two or more, right? Well, in this case, two. There are three people. There are five glasses. There are six women. There are four girls. So if you have that clear, so that's perfect. Guarden nada más, en forma singular y plural. So, but you have to uh, show a parallelism between the structure. Nos damos que mostrar ahí un paralelismo siempre con las estructuras. ¿verdad? A veces, nos, bueno, no estamos tan enfocados. Y a veces uh, cometemos el error de que a veces ubicamos acá en el sustantivo. Ya le ponemos una forma plural. Y acá tenemos un verbo, una forma singular. So there is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, a car, a woman. And what do we use? We so we normally use um, okay, the article A and N when we uh, use this singular structure. Entonces, usualmente cuando utilizamos esta estructura singular, vamos ubicando el artículo indefinido. Ellos también considerados como quantifiers, es decir, que nos indican cantidad. Uno, un o una. Hay un chico, hay un libro, hay una manzana, hay un carro, hay una mujer. En 
for the plural forms, we will see some other quantifiers. Entonces, para la forma plural, ya vamos a ver algunos otros quantifiers que tenemos por ahí más adelante. Okay, so let me show them to you. And we're going to start analyzing the structures. But let's see. Okay. So let me present that uh, just a couple of seconds. Okay, so we're going to be back. Um, ya regresamos. Ahí, vamos a ver. Ok, Carmen. Ahí me indica cuál es. Ok, so let me share with you back again. Ok, so I think we're ready. So we're going to analyze the structures. Vamos a ver un poquito las estructuras, chicos. Uh, for the affirmative, for the negative, and for the question uh, forms, right? So how do we make um, say statements and questions, como hacemos enunciados y preguntas, using uh, there is and there are? We're going to study this grammar chart. Look at this. Um, please, Daniel, help us with, um, with this, with this, the definition. We use there is and there are to say that something exists. Okay. And as we were mentioned, we have a singular form and a plural form, right? Singular. Uh, can you read that, please? Uh, continue, Daniel. Singular, Daniel. there is. There is a tree in the yard. Okay. Plural, there are. There are two cats on the chair. Okay, excellent. Okay, and what is the contraction that we use? Uh, Johnny, contraction for there is? There is a tree. There's a tree. Okay, so perfect. So which is the contraction for a there are? Do we have any contraction for there are? Uh, you, can, no. you cannot contract there uh -huh. are. so we don't have any contraction okay so we have we're going to say there's there's a tree there's a book right there's a whatever melon i'm in a sandia on the table <laughs> okay so that's going to you're going to uh, pronounce that as there's there's a book okay there's a chair okay there's okay an apple there's there's okay and we don't have a contraction for the um, plural form how about the negative um let's see negative form dora dora please help us with the negative negative there is there is not a tree in the yard. There are not two cats on the job, on the chair. Okay, perfect. So what do we do in order to make the negative form? We just add not. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer nada más acá? Vamos a agregarle el not para mm. hacer nuestra forma plural. So that's very simple, right? There is not a tree in the yard. There are not two cats on the chair. Okay, so that's very easy and very simple. Um, Dora, please continue with uh, the negative contraction and um, uh -huh, negative contraction for the singular and the plural form. There's not a tree in the yard. Okay. There aren't two cats on the chair. Okay, perfect. So notice that we have two uh, forms for the singular form, okay? There's not, there's not, there's and not. there isn't. Lo mismo como cuando lo vemos el verbo to be, there, 
there's not or there isn't. Uh, well, and um, let's read the examples again. There's not a tree in the yard. There isn't a tree in the yard. Uh, how about the plural form? For the plural, you have aren't, aren't, and this is contracted, right? Negative contraction, okay? So this is basically about the, um, about the negative contraction form for using that is in that are. And Besides that, we also, uh, well, we, we have the question form. O sea, aparte de las contracciones negativas, que ya tenemos aquí las, las negativas, sin contracciones, singular, plural, ahora con contracción. So remember that you need to add the apostrophe S. Okay, tenemos que agregar el apostrophe S, must not, or you have the, the other form, right? There isn't. There isn't for the singular. And for the plural, there aren't. How about the question form? Question form, Johnny. Questions. Is there a tree in the yard? Okay. Are, are there two cats on the chair? Okay, excellent. So as you notice in this case, what we have done is to invert the order of these elements. ¿Qué es lo que hemos hecho acá? Hemos invertido el orden de nuestros elementos. Vamos a ver, vamos a ubicar ahí otra oración. Uh, positive sentence. Okay. There is a tree. Okay, there is a tree. There are two cats. So what do you need to do? You need to invert the order of these elements. So it means that uh, verb to be goes at the beginning and then you place it there, right? Quiere decir que ahí invertimos lo mismo uh, como el verbo to be. Vamos al verbo to be al inicio y luego ubicamos la, la forma ahí there, okay? Are there two cats on the chair? Is there a tree in the jar? So that's the only thing that you need to do. You only have to invert the order. Entonces, lo único que hacemos acá es invertir eso, ¿verdad? El there is, for is there, and are there, and there are, for are there. Okay, so now, um, besides that, we have a, some quantifiers. So we normally, we usually use these quantifiers with uh, this uh, phrase. Solamente, casi siempre. Utilizamos algunos quantifiers con, con esta expresión. Example, we have any, use any in questions with uncountable nouns. Use any in questions with plural nouns. So it means that you're going to use any with questions. Entonces, cuando hacemos preguntas, um, you're going to add this uh, quantifier. Porque el quantifier nada más nos está indicando, ¿verdad? Una cantidad. Hay algo de agua en, en the cup, en la taza. So, is there any water in the cup? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Y también tenemos la respuesta. Son respuestas cortas. Okay. Okay. Um, so, that's for the singular form. Use any in questions with plural nouns. Are there any cats? Hay algunos gatos. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay, and the same. Acá no hacemos contracción para respuesta positiva corta. No hacemos contracción. Acá es posible. A lo mismo que igual acá en la forma, okay, forma negativa. No, there aren't. Pero no para las formas positivas, ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando estamos hablando de respuestas cortas. Are there any cats? Yes, there are. Uh, but remember that people don't... Uh, don't always use the, the full, let's say, answer. Usualmente a veces van a decir un sí o un no. No necesariamente siempre le van a decir, yes, there is, yes, there are. No, there aren't. No, there isn't. A veces solo van a quedar con un sí o con un no. But the thing is that, the point is that uh, you're going to hear, right? You're going to listen to a yes or no answer. Okay. And... 
use any in negative sentences. There isn't any water in the cup. No hay nada de agua en la taza. No hay nada de agua. Entonces va cambiando un poquito el significado. Ok, porque tenemos que hacer la... Bueno, nosotros estamos haciendo la adaptación al español. ¿Hay algo de agua? Pregunta. No hay nada de agua. And look at this. Use any in negative sentences as well in the plural form. There aren't any cats. Ok. Formas singulares, formas plurales. Vamos utilizando any. Esto es con las preguntas y con las oraciones negativas. There isn't any water. No hay nada de agua. There aren't any cats. No hay ningún gato. No hay nada de gatos. So there aren't any cats in a park. Ok, questions so far. Preguntas hasta el momento, chicos. Yes, Dora. Hello. Okay, well, if we don't have some, well, if we don't have questions, so I'm just going to show you um, two common questions that we sometimes use with uh, this phrase. También tenemos eh, estructuras double, double, con double edge questions donde utilizamos la frase de is y there are para preguntar, ¿verdad? How many, how many uh, books are there? ¿Cuántos libros hay ahí? Okay. And you can add a place, right? And le pueden ir ubicando un lugar, ¿verdad? How many books are there? Ah, oh, there are. Recuerden que acá son open questions. There are three books. Okay, there are three books. And, well, that's for countable nouns. Eso es para eh, sustantivos contables. How many books? Countable. Acá nos está diciendo que es contable también por eh, la forma del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Que es una forma plural. Ahora, tenemos también how much, okay, con sustantivos incontables. How much time okay, did you sleep? ¿Cuánto tiempo dormiste? Okay, how much time did you sleep? Acá ya, ya la alteré un poco, ya le cambié, el, el, ya no le puse el der, el der is y der are, pero podemos ubicar una también. Okay, how much Okay, for example, how much sugar do you need? But the answer is going to be, okay, ¿cuánta azúcar necesitas? Uh, how much sugar is there? Okay, ahí ya, ya les había modificado. Okay, otra vez. How much sugar is there? Okay, ¿cuánta azúcar hay ahí? Where uh, you mention a place, right? Or um, let's say a in the bowl, in the cup, okay. Okay, how much sugar is there? Y como siempre son preguntas, siempre vamos, hacemos la inversión. Vean acá, how many books are there? How much sugar is there? How much sugar is there in the cup? Y la respuesta acá, Puede variar. Podría ser algo, some. That's a positive answer. Okay, algo. You can say there is some. Okay, there is some sugar. Entonces estamos, no estamos determinando cuánto, solamente estamos diciendo que hay algo. Hay algo. También podría variar mi respuesta. Puede decir, ok. There are three spoons of sugar. Hay tres cucharaditas de, tres cucharadas de azúcar. But that can vary, right? A negative answer could be there isn't any. Okay. Miren, una respuesta negativa podría ser no hay nada. So there isn't any. Puedo dejar hasta ahí o puedo agregar el sugar. Bro. There isn't any sugar and the cup, okay? 
or another one, otro quantifier, me está indicando cierta cantidad, podría ser, there is a lot, there is a lot, hay mucha, there is a lot of sugar, okay? Mucha azúcar. But a notice, entonces pueden notar que acá hemos utilizado quantifiers como son, para una respuesta positiva, también hemos utilizado a lot, para expresar que hay mucha, mucha azúcar, and there are three spoons of sugar. Acá varió la respuesta porque dimos una respuesta utilizando un partitivo. Entonces, ¿cuántas hay? Tres cucharadas de azúcar. Entonces, acá ya usamos una forma plural, no como en estas otras. ¿verdad? There is some sugar, hay algo de azúcar, hay mucha azúcar, o no hay nada de azúcar. Ok, so now we'll check some more uh, things. Just give me a couple of seconds. Questions. So now we're going to uh, have some exercises. So we'll see how we do it. it just let me share. Okay, yes, it's here. Okay, so in here we have to write a negative, positive, or a question a form, but we're shown an, a sentence. We're shown a sentence. And in here you have to write, it can be a positive, a negative, or a question based on what uh, we have here, right? Based on this uh, statement. Okay, basado en ese enunciado que tenemos ahí, tenemos que modificarlo. So now let's see. Uh, number one, is there a cinema? Positive form, there is a cinema. How about the next one, number number one? Okay, that's number one. There isn't a bike, there isn't a bike. So we need to write a positive form, positive. Uh-huh, there is. There is a bike. There is a bike. Okay, perfect. There are two schools. Negative. There aren't two there schools. Aren't two school. so there is it. Okay, there aren't two schools. Be ready for the next one. Okay, there isn't a car. Question. Is there a car? Uh huh. Is there a car? Are there five shops? Positive? There, there are five shops. Okay, there are five shops. Okay, is there a museum? Negative? There isn't a museum. Mm -hmm. There is an a museum. Okay. There are a lot of trees. Question. There are a lot of trees. Uh -huh. So you have to convert that. Okay. Are there, right? Are there a lot of trees? Okay. There aren't two supermarkets. Question. Are there two supermarkets? Are there two supermarkets. Okay. Are there two supermarkets? Is there a school? Negative. There is there a school. Is a school. Uh -huh. There isn't a school. Okay, there isn't a school or any school. I can make school. Okay. 
So now let's see, we have some more, um, well, we have another exercise and we have to complete uh, the questions and the answers using the correct form for the reason that are. And we have to use the word in parentheses. Example, look at, look at the picture. We have this picture, we have a school, a supermarket, and there are some more things, right? Like cars, uh, soccer, field, uh, some bicycles, I think. Yeah, bikes. There are some bikes, a lot of houses, a truck. Uh, I think that's a taxi. Okay, number, the example says, are there two schools? Are there two schools? So which is the answer? No, there aren't two schools. Acá nos están dando una respuesta un poco más larga. Okay, no, there aren't two schools. Sí. So which could be the question for this one? So you have to think about it. Okay, look at this. Um, Two bikes, what do you think? Two bikes. Are there two bikes? Uh-huh. Are there two bikes? Okay. The answer is? Yes. Yes, long answer. There are two bikes. There are two bikes. Perfect. Okay, question two. A supermarket. Question, which is the question? Is there a supermarket? Uh -huh. Is there a supermarket? Okay, perfect. Yes. What do you think, guys? There is a supermarket. Yes, there is a supermarket. Okay. Estas son respuestas largas. Estamos poniendo, estamos ubicando ahí. Okay. Uh, question three. Three cafes. Okay. Three cafes. Um, okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So, which could be our question? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Are there uh -huh. Are there? Are there people? Uh-huh. Okay, waiting. Some for the night. Okay. Are there three? Cafe, 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 okay. No. They uh -huh. No, there aren't. Okay, so we can we can stop the answer there. No, there are three cafes. Oh, no, there aren't. Okay, that's enough. Uh, a lots of building, lots of building. Muchos edificios, lots of buildings. Yes, right. Question? Which is our question? How many? How many? Mm, okay, but um, the thing is that we have a uh, yes, no answer. Tenemos, lo que pasa es que ya tenemos una, podría ser, pero tenemos ya una respuesta y una respuesta corta. Quiere decir que es una yes, no question. Ajá, ¿qué sería? Earlier. Earlier. A lot of buildings. A lot of buildings. Okay, perfect. Yes. There are. Uh -huh. A lot of buildings. Okay. Building. A park. So have you seen a park? Is there any park? Is there any park in the picture? Yes. No, right. Question is there. Is there a park? No, oh, is there a park? Is there any park? Okay, no. There is there any park? Oh, there isn't any. Okay, uh, three buses. Three buses. So can you see three buses? 
No. No, right. Okay. Question. Are there? There are three buses. Uh -huh, three buses. Okay. No, there aren't, right? There are. No, there okay. aren't. There are. Three buses. Okay. So there are a lot of uh, cars, right? But not buses. So now look at this. Um, Here we have some vocabulary that I, uh, well, if you don't have it, you, you can copy that, right? A lot of, a lot of cinema, a supermarket, museum, building, park, tree, bus, school, cafe, car, and shop. Well, if you don't have that vocabulary, you can take a picture or a screenshot. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna send you uh oh, the vocabulary. Okay, guys, so we continue. We have some more things. And let me check. And then Okay, so just to conclude with the um, quantifiers, I'm going to show you a picture so you can identify when uh, you can use these quantifiers, right? Vamos a terminar ahí con los quantifiers and then we continue with a uh, speaking activity. Okay, as we mentioned at the beginning, we can use A and N with um, singular, singular, with a singular structure, right? There is a bottle on the table. There is an apple on the table. And some and any. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, some and any plus the plural countable noun or uncountable nouns. Entonces acá tenemos que some and any puede ser utilizado con contables como incontables. Let's look at the examples. We have affirmative, negative, in questions. Some, there is some cheese in the fridge. I algo de queso, right? So cheese, is that countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. But notice that you can use uh, some with um, a countable noun too. Entonces, también podría ser un sustantivo countable, but in here you have an uncountable example. Negative, any, there isn't any cheese in the fridge. So it means none, right? Significa cero cantidad. No hay nada de queso en la refri. In the question form, uh, in the question form, you use any. Is there any cheese in the fridge? Okay. And, okay, look at this. So here you have a chart. And we have um, this again, right? Affirmative, a n. Plural countable, some, or uncountable. Entonces acá tenemos básicamente un cuadro de resumen de lo que estamos mencionando acá. Vamos a utilizar a n con sustantivos contables, de okay, forma singular, y some con countable or uncountable. Negative, a n, any, any, right? Oraciones negativas, puede ser a, puede ser n, o puede ser any. Questions, también. Así como teníamos, veíamos en los ejemplos que hacíamos anteriormente, que a veces tenía el, el, indefinite, el uh, indefinite article, A or N. Pero también usamos N bien comúnmente. Ok, and we have some exceptions. También tenemos aquí algunos otros usos cuando podemos utilizar estos quantifiers. Por ejemplo, um, questions when you want to offer something, cuando queremos ofrecer algo. For example, uh, Daniel, would you like some uh, coffee right now? Yes, no? ¿Te gustaría algo de café? Would you like some coffee? That's an offer. Uh, yes, Daniel, tell us. Do you like coffee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but not now, Daniel. Si no, todo va a querer café ya. Questions. To ask for, right? Para pedir algo. Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water? Okay, puedes darme agua, puedo, puedo yo, right? Can I drink some water, puedo tomar agua? Okay, so you ask for something. Can I have some, let's say, 
Can I have some uh, orange juice, for example? Puedo, puedo tomar, puedo tener, o tomar más bien. Can I have? Can I have is a structure. Es una estructura que utilizamos también. Can I have? Para pedir. O puedo decir, puedo cambiar ahí el verbo. Can I drink? Okay. Puedo tomar, puedo tomar algo de, de, de jugo de naranja, por ejemplo. Y también tenemos otro uso con el some, que es suggest, right? Why don't we okay, um, take some time, right, to study the proposal? Porque no nos tomamos un tiempo para analizar, para estudiar la propuesta. So why don't we have some time to study the proposal? Okay, so these are some other usages um, uh, when you uh, when we refer to uh, the quantifier sum. Entonces, sum tiene más usos también. Of, uh, ofrecer algo, ofrecimientos, pedir algo, o sugerir algo. Okay, so now, uh, well, that was additional. So now let's go back. I'm going to show you um, some, okay. So just give me some seconds. Okay, we're gonna have some speaking activity right now. Okay. Me dicen ahí si ya se ve ahí speaking. Can you see that, guys? Tell me. Ya soy salí, salí la conversación en una, chicos. ¿Me avisan? Yes. Ya se ve. Okay. Uh, uh, where is Mario, by the way? ¿Dónde está Mario? Por cierto, vamos a ver. Mario, hello. Okay, let's see. Mario has Okay, he mentioned that he had a cough. Okay, que me que estaba Okay, so we have conversation one, uh, two, and three, uh, four. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of practice now, but I'm going to uh, play the listening, so you can um listen to first to the conversations and then we're going to start practicing each of them right okay so let's begin conversation one excuse me is there a gym in the hotel yes there's one on the first floor great and is there a pool yes there's a pool on the roof is there a changing room up there no there isn't but there's a restroom okay thanks Conversation two. So what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a mall, a cinema, and there are a few parks. Oh, parks? Nice. I love nature. Which one do you recommend? I think Central City Park is the best. There's a huge garden there. Is there a parking nearby? Yeah, there's a huge parking lot across the street. Conversation three. What is there to eat? Ah, there is some pasta in the fridge. Mm, I just had pasta for lunch. What else is there? Well, there is some stuff to make sandwiches. That will do. Where is the bread? There's some in the cupboard, I think. Conversation four. Are there exchange students at your school? Yes, there are a few. Really? What country is they from? Ah, let's see. There is one student from Italy and there are a few students from France. Oh, cool. Is there anyone from Paris? No, they're all from Lyon. Conversation one. Excuse me, is there a gym in the hotel? Yes, there's one on the first floor. Great. And is there a pool? Yes, there's a pool on the roof. Is there a changing room up there? No, there isn't. But there's a restroom. Okay, thanks. Conversation 
too. So what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a mall, a cinema, and there are a few parks. Oh, parks? Nice. I love nature. Which one do you recommend? I think Central City Park is the best. There's a huge garden there. Is there a parking nearby? Yeah, there's a huge parking lot across the street. Conversation three. What is there to eat? Ah, there is some pasta in the fridge. Hmm. I just had pasta for lunch. What else is there? Well, there is some stuff to make sandwiches. That will do. Where is the bread? There's some in the cupboard, I think. Conversation four. Are there exchange students at your school? Yes, there are a few. Really? What country is they from? Ah, let's see. There is one student from Italy and there are a few students from France. Oh, cool. Is there anyone from Paris? No, they're all from Lyon. Okay, so it's time to start uh, speaking, guys. Let's see. Um, so we're just going to check some vocabulary. For example, let me check a pool. What's a pool? Pool. Piscina. Okay. Piscina. Piscina, perfect. Um, changing room. What's a changing room? Uh-huh, ideas? Cambiaderos, no sé cómo es. Cambiaderos, okay. I think it's there. Un cuarto, para, un cuarto para cambiar eso, para ver si es. Okay. How about a restaurant? What's a restaurant? Restaurant. Uh -huh. What's that? No. Ah, manus. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's see. We have some more uh, vocabulary. Okay. So what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a small, uh, there is a mall, a cinema, and there are a few parks. Okay, oh, parks, nice, I love nature. Which one do you recommend? I think Central Park City is the best. There is a huge, okay, the word huge. What's the meaning, the word huge? Huge. Ideas? So the synonym is big. No, no ideas? The Johnny, uh, Dora, Carmen. Enorme. Enorme. Okay. Enorme, inmenso, grande. So that's the synonym. Okay. And uh, is there a parking nearby? Nearby? Nearby means close, near. Sí, es lo que están pensando. Cerca, ¿verdad? Okay. I think Central Park is the best. There is a huge garden there. Is there a is there parking near, nearby? Yeah, there is a huge parking lot. Parking lot, what's that? Parking lot? Cercano. Parking lot? Parqueo. Uh-huh, that's the parking lot. Okay. What is there to eat? Que hay de comer? What is there to eat? So this is a question that we always use, right? Siempre estamos preguntando, what is there to eat, mom? What is there to eat? Okay. Uh, ah, there is some pasta in the fridge. Uh, I'm just, I just had pasta for lunch. What else is there? ¿Qué más hay? What else? Okay. What else is there? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más hay? Okay. And the other question, uh, what is their tweet? Okay, Any other word that you want to check? Okay, let me check. Uh, well, there is some stuff. Stuff, ideas, stuff. Some stuff.
Algunas, ¿qué cosas? <risa> ya les di la respuesta. <risa> algunas cosas. Bueno, ajá, hay algunas cosas para hacer uh, sándwiches. That will do. Where is the bread? There is some in the cupboard. Cupboard. What's the cupboard? Cupboard. Cupboard. Where do you where do you store your food or things? Right? The cupboard. Pues el, el armario, la, la cena, donde se guardan la, la comida, right? Or the cereal. Okay. Are there any exchange students at your school? Exchange students. What's that? Exchange students. Intercambio de estudiantes. Uh -huh. The opposite. Estudiantes. De intercambio. Uh -huh. Yes, there are a few. Sí, hay. Hay pocos. Hay algunos, right? Three or three, let's say, or five. Really, what countries are they from? Ah, let's see. Let's see. Idea. What's that? Let's see. Déjame ver. Déjame ver. Ok, déjame ver. Déjame ver. Veamos. Ok. Ok. There is um, one student from Italy and there are a few students from France. Oh, cool. Is there anyone from Paris? Anyone. What's the meaning? Anyone? Anyone? Uh -huh. Alguno. Okay. Uh -huh. Hay alguno de Paris? No, they are all from Leon. <laughs> I didn't know the existence of that place. Okay, so now let's check the vocabulary. Pool, changing room, restaurant, huge, restaurant. huge, huge nearby, 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 parking lot, parking, parking lot. lot. What else is there? What else is what there? Is, what else is there? Huh? What else is there? What, what else is there? What else, what else is there? Mañana le van a ir, pero le van a... De preguntar a la persona que le vende comida. <laughs> What else is there? <laughs> Por lo menos en su mente se va a acordar. What else is there? ¿Qué más hay? What is there to eat? 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 Okay. Some stuff. Some stuff. Stuff. stuff some stuff. Some cupboard, stuff. Cupboard. Cupboard. Exchange students. Change students. Exchange. Exchange students. Exchange students. Exchange students. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone. 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 Okay. Any and one. Anyone. Okay. So now Anyone. let's read the four conversations together okay so i'm gonna read uh first and then you repeat that right on your own excuse me is there a gym in the hotel yes ma'am there a gym in the hotel okay hotel hotel excuse me is there a gym in the hotel hotel yes there's one on the first floor yes there's one on the first floor Let's do one on the first floor. First, first, first. first. Okay. And is there a pool? Wait. Is there a pool? 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 Great. And is there a pool? Yes. There's a pool on the roof. Yes. Yes, there's a pool on the roof. Okay, roof, roof. Yes, there is a pool on the roof. Yes, there's a pool on the roof. Roof, oh, right. On the roof. Is there a changing a changing room up there? Is there a changing room up there? Changing is room. There up changing there? room up there. Mm -hmm. Is there a changing room up there? 
up, up there, up there. No, there isn't. But there is a restaurant. Okay, thanks. Okay, next conversation. So what is there to do in your town? So what is there to do in your town? So what is there to do in the town? Town, town. Town. Okay, wow. so what is there to do in your town? Tell me, guys. So what is there to do in your town? ¿Qué podemos hacer en su pueblo? So what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a mall. There is a mall. A yeah. cinema, and there are a few parks. Yeah, a few parks. Oh, parks. Nice. Nice. I love nature. I love nature. 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 I nature. love nature. Which one do you recommend? Which one do you recommend? Okay. Recommend. Recommend. Which one do you recommend? I think Central City Park is the best. I think Central City Park is the best. The best. Uh -huh. So I think, yo creo, right? I think. There's a huge garden there. There's a huge, huge garden, garden there. there. Is there, is there a parking nearby? Nearby. 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 nearby yeah there's oh. a huge parking lot across the street there's a huge parking lot across the street okay conversation three what is there to eat what is there to eat what is there to eat okay what is there to eat what is there to eat what is there to eat there is some pasta in the fridge there is some pasta in the fridge. Mm, I just had pasta for lunch. Okay. Yeah, comí pasta, right? So I just had pasta. Okay. Yeah. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? What well, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Oh, what else? What else is what there? Else? What else is there? Well, there is some stuff oh. to make sandwiches. Well, there is some oh, stuff some to, make to make sandwiches. 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 That will do. Where uh, is the bread? Where is the bread? There is some in the cupboard, I think. There is some in the cupboard, I think. Okay. And the last one. Are there any exchange students at your school? Are there any exchange students at your school? At your, your school, at yes. your school. Yes, there are a few. Yes, there are a few. A few, a few. A few. Uh -huh. A few means unos cuantos, pocos, right? Really? 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 What countries are they from? What countries, what countries are, they from? are they from? Are they from? Are they from? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. see. Let's see. There is one student there from one Italy. From Italy. Student from and, there Italy. Are, and there are a few students from France. And there are a few students for France. From France. From France. From France. From France. From France. Cool. Is there anyone from Paris? Oh, is, is there anyone there from Paris? Anyone from Paris? Paris. Paris. No. Paris. They are all from Leon. Leon. No. Oh, they are all from Leon. Mm -hmm. So you can use a contraction, right? No, they are all. No, no they are all from. They are all from Leon. No, they are all from. So it will be something like this. Uh, they're. Yes. They're all now they're all from Leon. Okay, now they're all from Leon. Okay, so now uh take a screenshot and we're going to start practicing. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna send you 
the conversations first, and then I'm gonna send you the the next two. Okay. Okay. Primero le mando estas dos, y luego les comparto ahí las otras dos. And I'm gonna be uh, checking the groups in a moment. Ready? Ahí se ahí se le estaban tomando foto para ponerles nuevamente. Yo les acabo de compartir dos. Bueno, las cuatro ya, pero dos, dos screenshots. Ok, so let's uh, start with the speaking practice. So join the breakout rooms and... Uh, start practicing these conversations, okay? So let's start, guys. Welcome, Mario. Yes, I come, Mario. Hello. <laughs> sí, no lo uh, lo, lo siento, tuve una emergencia. Okay. Me avisan ahí si reciben invitación o quien no recibe para reenviarlo nuevamente. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Excuse me. Okay, Bien, yeah. eh, uh, vaya, yo empiezo entonces. Ok, yo okay. voy a... Conmigo, okay. conmigo. Ok, uh, excuse me, is there a gym in the hotel? Yes, there is one on the first floor. Great, and... Is there a pool? Yes, there is a pool on the roof. Is there a changing sh sh room, room up there? No, there is a uh, about tears a uh, question. Okay, thanks. Continuamos con la dos. Conversation number two. Continue. Okay, uh, so what, what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a small uh, cinema, and there are few parks. Oh, parks, nice. I love nature. Which one to, do you recommend? I drink Central Sea Park is the best. There's a house, garden too. Is there parking nearby? Yeah, there's a house parking look across the street. Conversación. Dios. 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 Oops. Ah, podemos usar la otra. La 3 y 4. 
momento, voy a comparto. Ah, ah, ah. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita sí. Yes. Ok, empiezo nuevamente. What is there to eat? A, a tear, a song, pasta. Así es bien, pasta. Pasta. Sí. Pasta, sí, pasta. imperfect. Mm, I yes, just yes. had pasta for lunch. What is what else is there? Well, tear a song stuff to make sandwich. That sandwich. will that will do. Where is the bread? Tear sound the cook cook board, I think. Okay, conversation four. Are there any exchange students at your school? Yes, tear a few. RP, a few. Really? What countries are they from? Ale Alexi, tear is one student from Italy. And tear are a few students from France. Oh, cool. Is there anyone from Paris? No, they are, oh, are from Leon. There's a huge garden there. Is there picking near, nearby? Nearby. Is there picking? Is there parking nearby? Creo que me oh. comí un pedacito ahí, Dol. Le faltó, vea. <laughs> Creo que sí. <laughs> ay, 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 pedacito. Creo que tengo el. Si la cortó ahí, le tiene que aparecer el otro pedazo. Hacer screenshot, si ya no. No, ¿verdad? No, es que es screenshot. A ver, vamos a ver qué déjame checar. Ya no sale el otro. No. Quiero ver si lo tengo yo. Ahí está el otro pedacito. Creo que Doris por buscarlo se salió. Ah, oh, sí. Vamos a ver, lo vamos a traer de nuevo. Me imagino que cerró todo. A ver, vamos a ver que ingresa otra vez. Ah, sí, aquí está. Sería este. <ríe> ya, ya, mando mensaje que voy. Sí, cierto, salió. No le encuentro. Sí, sí se salió. Okay, bien, mientras ingresa, la voy a ubicar acá con, entonces, con Daniel. Ok, thanks, teacher.
Okay. Excuse me, is there a, a gym in the hotel? Yes, there is one on the third floor. Great, and is there a pool? Yes, there is a pool on the roof. Is there a changi in road out there? No, there isn't, but there is a restroom. Okay, thanks. So, what is there to do in your town? Well, there is a mall, a cinema, and there are a few parks. Oh, parks, nice. I love nature. Which one do you recommend? I think Central Park is the best. There's a huge garden there. Is there parking nearby? Yeah, there's a huge parking lot across the street. Okay, very good. Very <laughs> good. Voy a ver las otras. Ya no, ya apareció, Dori. ya vino Dorita. ¿eh? Sí, voy con Dora ahora. Bueno, no, Ingrid. Con Mario. Dejé a Ingrid ahí. Dejó colgada, Dori. Ay, esta cosa. Por buscar bueno. en la otra línea. Sí, ¿sabes? así le dije a la teacher. Ah, ok. Bueno, voy con usted, Dora. What is there ¿Cuál es? to hit? ¿Cuál? Conversation to hit, Dori. Ah, ok. What is there to hit? To hit. Ah, there is some pasta in the fried. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just asked pasta for lunch. What else is there? Well, there is some stuff to make sandwich. I will do. Where is the break? There are some in the cupboard, I think. Very good. Yo creo que hay eso. Cabal, ahí hay. Yo creo que hay. Va, Dorita, entonces con el conversation four. Are there any exchange students at your school? Yes. There are a few. Really? What countries are they from? Ah, let's see. There is one student from Italy. And there are a few students from France. Oh, cool. Is there anyone from Paris? No, they are all from Leon. Oh. <laughs> Está bien. <ríe> Ahora, ¿qué más? Otra vez la uno, la conversation one y conversation two. Bueno, ya nos llama a la, a la otra sala. A tiempo, okay. leímos las cuatro. <ríe> ajá, las cuatro ajá. conversaciones. Pa. <ríe> sí. Bueno, pa. Ok, bye.
Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, right now, we're going to start with a new activity, and we're going to complete a reading uh, exercise. Look at this. We're going to complete this uh, using that is uh, that are in the affirmative. So let's see. Let's start reading each of the that parts. My name is Annie. Solamente me dicen ahí si ya se ve el PDF y si se ve bien. Si no, lo hacemos más grande. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Okay. And if not, we have to make it more grand. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, my name is Annie, and I live in a very big house. What do you think? There are 20. Uh -huh. Continue, read the second. 23 rooms in my house. Okay. Y permítame que se trabó. Um, okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to use another two. Ya no se pudo así. Okay. Okay, there are 23 rooms in my house. Continue, guys. But uh, that there are uh -huh. there are only 12 bedrooms. 12 bedrooms. Uh -huh. But there are only 12 bedrooms. Continue. Anybody else? There are. Uh-huh. I live read the and I live in one of the room of the third floor. Uh -huh. In my room, there is. Uh, there is. There is what? A hot bed. Uh -huh. A huge, a huge, a huge bed. bed. And there are nine windows. Okay, perfect, Christian. And there are nine windows. Continue. Christian, continue. My bedroom is small. There are a lot of pillows. Mm -hmm. Okay, on my bed there are okay, uh, lots of pillows. Continue, Johnny. And there is my cut. Uh-huh. Fluffy. <laughs> okay, continue. Ingrid, in my closet? In my closet, there are many toys. Okay. Mario, in? What else? In? Dora, what do you think? Also, many clothes. Yes, uh -huh. there are many clothes. Many clothes. I so many clothes. Okay, I don't. I don't hear it. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but there is there is there is uh -huh. there is a bathroom. But there is a bathroom where next to my room to yes. my room. Oh, okay. What's next? All in my house. There, there are. are two kitchens. There are two kitchens. A big, big din, dining, dining, dining room, room and three living rooms. Three living rooms. The house is really big. The house is really big. So did you notice that it's super easy to create a description, right? So now let's read the full paragraph together. 
My name is Annie and I live in a very big house. There are 23 rooms in my house, but there are but only there are 12 bedrooms. I live in one of the rooms on the third floor. In my room, there is a huge bed and there are nine windows. My bedroom is small, okay, even small. On my bed, there are a lot of pillows. And there is my cat, Fluffy. In my closet, there are many toys. There are also many clothes. Clothes, clothes. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but there is a bathroom next to my room. Also in my house, there are two kitchens, a big dining room, in three living rooms. The house is really big. Okay, so now let's see. I'm, I want to listen to some of you. Let's see. Edgar, please read the paragraph. The whole paragraph. Whole paragraph. Okay. My name is Annie and I live in, in a so very can... big... Uh -huh. Yes? You can modify the name. Uh, my name is. Ah, oh, okay. My name is yeah. Helga, and I live in very big house. There are 20, 23 rooms in my house, but there are only twelve. Well, only twelve bathrooms, and I live in one of the rooms in the third floor. In my room, there is a huge bed and there are nine windows. My bedroom isn't small. On my bed, there are a lot of pillow, pillow. And there is a, my cat, Firulais. <laughs> Your cat, Firulais, okay, continue. <laughs> In my closet, there are many toys. And there are also many clothes. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but there is a bathroom next to my room. Also in my house, there are my bathroom. Oh, pardon. And also in my house, there are two kitchens. <laughs> a big dining room and three living rooms, the house is really small. It's small, okay. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, um, let's see, Dora, please read uh, the paragraph. Assume that that's yours. My name is Dora mm -hmm. and I live in a very big house. There are 23 rooms in my house, but there are only 12 bedrooms. I live in one of the rooms on the third floor. In my room, there is a hood bed and there are nine windows. My bedroom is small. On my bed, there are a lot of pillows. Um, there is my cat looking. In my closet, there are many toys and there are also many clothes. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but there is a bedroom next to my room. Also in my house, there are two kitchen, a big dining room and three living rooms. The house is really big. Okay, thank you, Dora. Let's see. Uh, the next person is Ingrid. Big dining, dining room, dining, dining room, dining room, and living rooms, living rooms. Okay, uh, Ingrid, go ahead, please. Okay. My name is Ingrid, and I live in a very big house. There are 23 rooms in my house, but there are only 12 bedrooms. I live in one of the rooms 
of the fire flow in my room. There is a huge bed and there are nine windows. My bedroom isn't small. On my bed, there are lots of pilots and there is my cat Fluffy. In my closet, there are many toys and there are also many clothes. I don't uh, have a bathroom in my bedroom, but there is a bathroom next to my room. Also in my house, there are two kitchens, a big dining room and three living rooms. The house the house is really big. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Um okay. Okay, third. So let's check that word. First and third. Okay, um first. So it's something like air, right? First. First. Okay. First. Let me write it down. First, is this one I cortita? First, first, and this is third, okay? Third, third. Uh, in my bathroom, let me check. Okay, I live in, I live in um, one of the rooms uh, on the third floor. In my room, there is a huge, okay? Huge, huge, huge yes. bed, okay? There is a huge bed. There are nine windows. My bedroom, it's in small. Uh, my bed, there are a lot of pillows and there is my cat Fluffy. In my closet, there are many toys and there are also many clothes. Let's see, um, Johnny, please read the paragraph. Okay, Johnny, please. Okay, so he's just a listener right now. Okay, so we'll continue, and now we're going to have an exercise. So, but I don't know if you took a screenshot. No sé si le tomaron una captura, because we're gonna use that in a moment. Look at this. Uh, right now we're going to complete the following sentences using there is, there is an or there aren't, and be careful with countable and uncountable nouns. Example number one: A fly from here to London. Okay, which is the right form, guys? There isn't or there aren't? There isn't. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. There isn't. There isn't a fly from here to London. Number two, any movies that I want to see in the cinema? There aren't, there aren't. Okay. any movies. There aren't. Continue. Read the read the sentence, Daniel. Please, uh, number there, two. There aren't men, any movies that I want to see in the cinema. Mm -hmm. I am very hungry, but there aren't any food in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Re refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. Refrigerator. Oh, that's fridge. Podemos usar también la palabra fridge. 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 Okay. Uh, I'm very hungry, but there aren't any food in the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Food is countable or uncountable? Do you remember that? Food is uncountable. Okay. There are or there aren't or there isn't? There aren't mm, okay. there any, there um, are any, there is. With uncountable. Okay. So you're going to use uh, there is with uncountable nouns, but. There isn't. Uh -huh, but there isn't any food in the refrigerator. Okay, number four. Edgar, what do you think? Edgar, Dora, Ingrid, we want to go to the concert. There aren't. Mm -hmm. 
but there are in, there are what? Any? Any tickets. Uh -huh. Okay, number five. There aren't. Uh -huh. There aren't what? Any money in my bank account. Account so I can pay the bills. Okay. There aren't any money or there isn't any money. There is. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Yes, there isn't. Okay, there isn't any money in my bank account, so I can't pay the bills. Number six, 70 minutes in an hour. <laughs> there isn't. There isn't 70 minutes. Mm. 70 minutes. There aren't. There aren't. Aha, uh -huh, okay. There aren't. 70 minutes in an hour. Okay. Number seven. Seven. In my neighborhood. Uh-huh. Uh, they any children. There aren't. There aren't. Any, any children? Any children. Okay, perfect. Number eight. Okay, no puede hornear. Okay, no pues. Uh -huh. There are. Can bake a cake with us? There isn't. There isn't. Ah, okay. Any sugar. There isn't any sugar any in the cup. Okay, nine. What do you think? Um, it's sunny today. Um, and there's... Yes, what do you think? There isn't that I it's sunny today. And uh-huh. Yes, right. There isn't. Okay, there isn't a cloud in the sky. I'm sorry. Letters. What's a letter? What's a letter? Uh -huh. Cartas. Las cartas, okay. I'm sorry. There aren't any letters for you today that's too sad okay so there you have the example i'm gonna send it to you okay so you can have it and well just to do this we will continue okay so let me check i'm going to open the manual back again so i'm looking for that Okay, me están ahí si ya se ve el. Okay, the conversation, addresses and places. Okay, can you see the dialogue? Oh, Okay, can you see the yellow? Uh, yes. Um, ah, okay, perfect. So ask, look at this. This is our, well, this is the objective, right? Tell, ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. Okay, so listen, <clears throat> the conversation and then practice. Okay, let's read the conversation. Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Where's the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. 
I have some interim views there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, so now let's check the vocabulary that we have in that uh, dialogue. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Okay, building. Building, what's a building? If it's a building, okay. if it's... Don't worry, what's that? Don't worry. No te preocupes. No te... Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> which one do you need? Which one do you need? Which one do you need? What's that? ¿Cuál, cuál de los edificios necesita algo, algo así? Ajá, okay. ¿Cuál de los edificios necesita? ¿Cuál necesitas? Okay. Um, a girl, okay, girl, girl told me, told me, told me, me dijo, me contó, okay, to go to the building on Main Street. Okay, Main Street, it's the name of the street. Main Street sería la, la calle principal. Or, well, mm -hmm. I know it. Okay, I know it. I know it. So what does it mean? Lo? Lo sé, ok, I know it. And it, y el it se está refiriendo a qué cosa? A la información que están dando acá arribita, I know it. It's down the street on the left side, ok. It's down, ok, it's down the street, down the street, what do you think? Down the street, on the left side, what's that? Está. Bajando la calle en el lado, al lado uh -huh. izquierdo. Lado izquierdo, ok. It's down the street on the left side. Ok. And um, thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers. A training center, ideas? Training center? Un centro de? Entrenamiento. Entrenamiento, capacitaciones, ok. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Interviews. Okay. Interviews. Interviews or interviews. There. Thank you again. Okay. Again. Again means de nuevo. Okay. Building. Don't worry. Which one do you need? Which one do you need? Girl told me. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Training center. Interviews. 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 Okay. So now let's see. I'm going to ask some of you. Uh, let's see. Um, Daniel. Daniel, go ahead and Dora. Okay. Daniel and Dora. Read okay. the dialogue. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, nice. thank you. Let's and see, Fer Fernando and Christian. Fernando and Christian. Uh, hello, hello. Can you help me? Where the Melbourne building? Do you? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are a full in buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me go to the building on the main street. I know, I know it. 
it's down on the street on the left side. Thank you. I I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have something inter interview Interviews. here. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. There, there. I have some there, interviews there. there, there. Okay. There, there. Thank, thank you. you. And let's see, Ingrid and Mario. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hello. Can you hear me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Live, live. Live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which ones do you need? I dear to me to go to the building on the main street. I know it it's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask ask ask, 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 ask you mm -hmm. sometimes something 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 Else is there something else, else? Something else is there a trade center? There, there are a lot training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews. Interviews there. Thank you. You again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, Mario. Uh, let's see. Let's listen to um Oscar and Edgar. Oscar, Edgar. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? We need to use Gilbert Building in the lift here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Yeah. Which one do you need? I geared to me too to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. The left Thanks. side. Thanks. I hate to ask at just sometime. Else is street training center. There are there are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews. Cheers. Thank you again. Bye bye. See you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, boys. So now we have some questions. Some um, but they are related to the dialogue. How many Melbourne buildings are there? So what do you think? How many Melbourne buildings are there? Read the dialogue. Four. Uh huh. There are. There are four buildings. Okay. Uh, next question is about where is the building where Will wants to go located? Okay. Where is the building where Will wants to go or wants to be located? Main Street. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Tell me to go to the building on Main Street. Okay. Let's see. And how many training centers? How many training centers <clears throat> are there? And what are they? A lot of many training centers. Uh -huh. A lot of training centers. And what are they? What are they? The location. Green. On the building between Main and King Street. Uh -huh. Between 
Main and Keen Street. Okay, awesome. And that's the last question, I guess. Okay, so now you have a sure task. Let me check. Okay, so you can complete that. Okay, exercise five. Marketing, so we have to use that is or that are using in a quantifier Mar uh, with the following statements. Marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Daniel, number one, that is, that are. There is. Okay, there is. Marketing presentation uh -huh. across the street in the morning. Okay, so you have to use the quantifier. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay, number two. So here you have the quantifier. Um, number two, Dora. <laughs> there are business workshops. Okay. Down the, street. the quantifier. So, okay. There are some business workshops down the street. Number three, Edgar. Number three, there is or there are recruitment centers around my building. Edgar, Edgar, tell me, activate your microphone. There is, there is an recruitment centers. A recruitment center. Mm, there is or there are? Recruitment centers, identify the noun. Are, uh -huh. are Quantifier in parentheses is? And no. No, okay. También tenemos el, el cuantificador no para decir que no hay verdad. Si yo no es, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Okay, are, number four. The Ingrid, help us. There is no. no. There is no. It's on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Okay. Avenue. 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 Okay, number five. Uh, Oscar. There. There is or there are. Oh, let's see, uh, Christian. I think he's busy. Anybody? Uh -huh. there, there are. There are. Ah, okay. Let's Last let's word. use another quantifier. Ocupamos aquí otro quantifier. It can be a lot of some. There are. Hey. Star months. Okay. There are some banks behind the factory I work. And, okay, the last one. Ladies, boys, Aranza building around the corner. Yes, there. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Article. There is a. An, um, uh -huh. an Aranza building. Aranza building. Okay, yeah, that's because of the word, the next uh, letter. Okay, perfect. So now, um, well, we're about to finish. We'll continue tomorrow with the rest of the, the what well, of that book. So now I'm going to open just for the five minutes. <clears throat> Vamos a tomar estos últimos minutitos. Nada más para compartir un poquito acá de las eh, cómo vamos con la plataforma. Okay, permítanme, abro el documento. Hey, teacher, a mí si yo me lo dio mañana, me pongo el día. Porque tengo ah, okay. problema con el trabajo. Sí. Ahorita vamos a, vamos a checar solamente para recordarle. 
No es para regañarlo. <ríe> ok. Seguramente. Seguramente. <ríe> Qué poca fe. <ríe> contra contra la esquina dice <ríe> no, <ríe> vamos a ver okay this is our class eighteen okay. vamos a ver dos cosas vamos a hacer un pequeño review de las tareas que tenemos acá de la semana cuatro para ver cómo vamos eh, ahí todos. Ustedes me van dando la respuesta y yo las ubico. <ríe> ok, uh, 16. This is task 16. Esta es la primera de la unidad 4. Are you in, on, or at the party? Entre, entre a mi usuario, dice, y empieza a llamarlo. Oh, que perdió el usuario. <ríe> que empiece en mi usuario y lo conteste ahí. Lo... <ríe> <ríe> ah, mire, qué gale. Okay, so which is the correct answer? A ver, chico. Are you in, on, or at the party? On. At. 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 at the party. Recuerden, eventos que toman lugar en un edificio. Yeah. At the party. At the cinema. The information is in the top of the page, on the top of the page, or at the top of the page? On the top of the page. On the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you remember fix, uh, some fixed expressions? Recuerden que hay algunas palabras que se utilizan con cierta preposición que no es on. In this case. In. Mm, ok, so that means inside. Significa dentro, sobre y en. At. 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 Ok. The dog sleeping. El perro está durmiendo. In. On, on, on the carpet. On the carpet. Do you live house or an apartment? At. In. On. In. In. In, dentro de, right? In. He goes swimming. In. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está nadando dentro del río. Okay, so let's check. Okay, perfect. So he was very sure about it. Okay, 17. Ah, super easy. There is, there are a banana. Okay. There is a banana. Some chairs in the kitchen. Okay. Lots of books on the shelf. There is there. Okay. A mirror in our hall. There is. Okay. Twelve cushions on the sofa. Okay, that was pretty easy. So you see, and you don't do the activities. Ya ven que tan fácil es Dani, no le dejo la language. Okay, where's Julie? She's. In on or at? Uh huh. Where's Julie? Oh. At. At. Okay. At. at. The plan is the table. On. On. Okay. The table. There is a spider. The, spider. the bath. On the On the bath. Sobre la bañera. In. In, right? Okay. John is. At, at. Mm, okay. on. <clears throat> on the garden. Well, that depends. Estamos hablando que está sobre el jardín. On, on, on. <laughs> uh, how about, do you remember when I met? Me? <laughs> uh, actually, it's in. 
en. en ah. Porque no solamente son espacios, de decir que algo está dentro de, sino que está, puede ser un espacio abierto también. John is in the garden, está en el jardín. At, si nos estamos refiriendo, podría, podría ser también, para dar un punto right. de referencia de ubicación específico también. Podría. I'll meet you. At. At, ok. Vamos a ver. <laughs> ok. So you got a, a 10, right? Y esas nos quedan para mañana. Ok. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm going to pass it to Nancy. Vamos a pasar la lista de asistencia. Y nada más les doy ahí un registro de su progreso. Este lo actualizamos el día de ayer, me parece. Ayer o esta mañana. Recuerdo muy bien. Ok, ahí. Bien. Calvin, ¿se encuentra por acá? Calvin. Okay, acá nos hacen falta, Calvin, algunas actividades que completar de la semana 2, 3. Entonces ya estamos en la 4. Eh, la semana 2 me parece que todavía necesitamos eh, completarla porque eh, sí empezó, ¿verdad? pero ahí les hacen falta alguna. Igual de la semana 3. Veamos ahí quién más. Eh, ok, vamos bien con Carmen, va súper bien. Um, Christian de semana 3 y tenemos que avanzar con la 4 también déjame checar ahí quién más sí. Sí. Ed, Ed, ah, ¿no? uh -huh. tratemos de cualquier cosa escríbame para apoyarle eh, Edgar semana 4 sí. aquí no hay progreso aún Eduardo Eduardo no sé si encuentra por acá Eduardo <risa> semana 3 Eduardo y semana 4. Vamos a ver acá. Y Fátima Alexandra Martínez. Fátima, ¿se encuentra por acá, Fátima? Ok. Bueno, si nos está escuchando, Fátima, o si ve la grabación, y trabajemos en las, en las actividades de la plataforma. Que nos hacen falta varias actividades. Y veamos ahí quién más. Y... Ok. Ingrid, semana 3. Vamos a ver quién más por acá. Oh, Johnny. Johnny, no sé si ya regresó. Yo ya completé toda la semana. Present. Ingrid. Sí. La semana 3 y 4. O todo. Ajá. Ah, vaya, entonces lo voy a checar. Y, y Johnny, el, ex, el examen Present. medio. El examen medio. Este, no sé si ahorita ya lo tiene completado. Uh, lo voy a lo voy a checar. Ajá, chequelo ahí. Jonathan, está por acá Jonathan. Present. Okay, Jonathan, aquí tenemos semana 3. Eh, no, ahí no tenemos a progreso todavía. Semana 3 y semana 4. Tratemos de ponernos ahí al día con eso para que este, bueno, ustedes van a ir viendo en medida que ustedes vayan completando las actividades van a ver cuál es el, el porcentaje final que, que, van a, que van a obteniendo. Entonces tienen que tener por lo menos el 80 eh, okay. en todas las actividades. Okay, ahí vayan checándolo. Cualquier cosa no deben preguntar. Ok, veamos. Este, okay, Efraín, semana 3 y 4. Ya estamos a sobre la 4. Marlene Mengiba, eh, bueno, no está por acá, me parece. Francisco, semana 3. Ok, teacher. Ajá, ya tenemos un progreso. No hace falta ahí todavía complementar. Ok. Y semana 4 también. Y Mario, semana. Vamos, a... Vamos bien, Mario. Ok. okay. Bien. Vamos. Sí. Aníbal. Aníbal. Está por acá, Aníbal. Ok. Aníbal, necesitamos ahí ingresar a la plataforma. Y completar las actividades para que lo logremos ahí todo, ¿verdad? La asistencia y este, la plataforma también. Y William, eh, William semana 3 y 4 también. Ok. Eh, los demás que no mencionamos, estamos, vamos bastante bien. 
pero este, si les hace falta alguna actividad de la semana, también ya, ya pueden ponerse al día. Ok, bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Calvin Alexander Hernández. Ok, Carmen Amada López Argueta. Carmen. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Sifontes, perdón. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Edgar. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Okay. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. Present. Thank you. José Efraín Ramírez Reyes. Presente. Thank you, Presente. Efraín. Presente. Gracias, Efraín. Ok. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present. Ok. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Noé Aníbal González. Ok. Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. And William Vladimir Enriquez. Hernández, perdón. Hernández. Present. William. Present. Thank you, William. Ok, guys. So that's all for today. Teacher, no escuché si me mencionó. Fátima. Sí, Fátima. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, Fátima, se puede quedar un momentito más y ya después. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, gracias, chicos, por estar hoy. Nos vemos el día de mañana. So, have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys, at 8 o'clock. Okay? See you tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Ok, ahorita actualizo, Fátima, me parece que sí la ubiqué, pero no me estoy... Vamos a checar nuevamente. Ah, ok. Sí, listo. Vamos. Fátima, ok. Listo, Fátima, ya la ubicamos ahí. Eh, veamos ahí. Fátima, solo una pregunta respecto um, al avance de la plataforma. Quisiera saber ahí cómo vamos. Sí, no, lo he, no he logrado avanzar, teacher. Eh, me surgió un inconveniente. Yo hablé con 10 personas. Si no me equivoco, Ajá. la semana pasada que me había quedado sin empleada. Entonces, sí, se me, se me dificulta bastante por el que tengo un bebé, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, se me, se me dificulta a esa hora poder estar llevando las clases. Entonces, solo me estoy conectando con oyente y ya no Ajá. logro participar, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero voy a, voy a avanzar en la plataforma eh, esta semana para que pueda estar al día. Ajá, sí, cualquier, envíenme capturas para apoyarles si tienen alguna duda. Porque si necesitamos, este, bueno, cerramos hasta prácticamente esta semana, terminamos. Pero este, envíenme capturas para apoyarles. Oye, como, tal vez aquí en algún espacio. Ojalá esperemos que tenga algún espacio ahí disponible para que podamos para completar. completarlo. Uh -huh, correcto. Ricardo, vale. Fátima, entonces si quedamos cualquier cosa, escríbame ¿eh? gracias Hola, teacher. ok, gracias Fátima hola, teacher. hola Aníbal, dígame eh, fíjese que yo no sé cómo serían las guías de las cuatro guías, son verdad que, ah, no, eh, que debo ¿verdad? Aníbal, ya le, ya le comento cómo vamos a hacer es la plataforma eh, tiene el usuario déjame checar aquí cómo vamos Aníbal yo no he hecho nada, dicho, estoy mal. Ah, sí, sí, correcto. Entonces aquí necesitamos ponernos al día. Pero este, quisiera saber si usted 
tiene usuario y contraseña de la plataforma. Yo he logrado ingresar a la plataforma y he descargado ah. los manuales. Ah, ok, pero, perfecto. Pero no sé si... E incluso hoy, hoy en la mañana empecé a llenar el primero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque allí sí, la verdad que me he dejado, me descuidé, mejor dicho. Me descuidé en el aspecto que me cambiaron los horarios, porque nunca me imaginé que, que me uh -huh. iban a poner de noche, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero no sé cómo, cómo haría allí, teacher, para... Ay, y ahorita le indico dónde, dónde es. Cuando usted ingresa a la plataforma, o pues uh -huh. se va a encontrar eso, mira, aquí donde dice curso, si ¿sí se alcanza a ver ahí. Curso. Sí, sí, lo veo, lo ahí. veo. Entonces, ahí usted va a encontrar estas cuatro secciones abajo, abajo, ¿verdad? Inglés principiante módulo 1, sección 1, 2, 3 y 4. Sí. Entonces, solamente despliega cada una de ellas. Eso no es el manual, estos son ejercicios en línea. Entonces, los abre, sección 1, ahí en, en las letras que salen en azul. Y acá le van a aparecer los números de las tareas. Por ejemplo, ah, okay. ajá, estos chequecitos que van acá, este lápiz este, que está sobre este cuadrito, es la tarea 1. Estos son uh -huh. los videos, estos los puede ir marcando nada más, por ejemplo, así, ¿verdad? Lo abre y después sigue con la tarea, ¿verdad? Solamente ah, okay. es abrirlo, ¿verdad? Para que le marque ah, okay. ahí el chequecito de que lo ah. como marcador. Vaya, ahí tiene la primera tarea, tarea 1. Y tiene, okay. usualmente aparecen cinco preguntas. Acá hay cinco. Como un checklist viene apareciendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, una, uh -huh. son, son ejercicios de... Sí, opción. son ejercicios de, de, de llenar, ¿verdad? No, solamente va marcando opción múltiple. Por ejemplo, Michelle is a floor manager. Ah, ajá. Ah, yes, Solo yes. va seleccionando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y así es. Bueno, no okay. todos los ejercicios son así. Algunos son de escribir pero usualmente son cinco actividades. Al final, usted ah. le da clic acá en enviar. Ah, ok. Voy a hacer este. Es parecido a lo que estuvimos haciendo hoy. Este, hoy, al final de la clase. Okay. I am an assembler. He is not a program manager. Y vamos. Ok, ya lo llené ahí todos. Ahora le doy a enviar. Enviando. Y me tiene que aparecer así, ¿verdad? Correcto, uh -huh. 20, 20 puntos. Sí. Después, solo va marcando, sigue con la tarea 2. Y okay. acá lo mismo, lo mismo. Ok. Eso es, eso acá es donde van enumeradas, la tarea 2, 3, 4 y 5. Cuando sí. se termine ahí, le puede dar aquí, siguiente. Ah, y, ok. Ajá, le da siguiente también. Ahí uh -huh. solo me movió de la tarea, tarea 3. Sí, sí, estaba sí. yo acá al principio, en la 1, siguiente, siguiente y siguiente. Y esto, ah. y esto lo que va a ocasionar es que me lleve a la siguiente tarea, ¿verdad? 6. Uh -huh. Y de la 6 a la 10 ya es la semana 2. Entonces viene usted, siguiente, siguiente, siguiente. Ah, ya. Ajá, así lo va manejando. Y ah, lo okay. va a llevar hasta ahorita donde estamos. Hasta, entonces esas, esas serían las, las tareas, ¿verdad? Ajá, y los de sí. los manuales no serían nada, entonces, los de los que... Ah, es que eso como lo vamos trabajando durante la clase. Ah, ya, uh -huh. ya. Aunque hoy sí ya, le, ya entendí. Sí, Gracias, claro. teacher. Entonces okay. voy a tratar de... Voy, bueno, no tratar, no que tengo que hacerlo, tenerme al día, ¿verdad? Sí, bueno. terminamos el día viernes. Entonces ahorita sí. sí encuentran un espacio para hacerlo. A mí me capturas también para apoyarle. Uh -huh. Pues quizás lo haría mañana porque como todavía estoy trabajando, ¿verdad? Sí, y sí me sí. da una escapadita para que me, me explicara ahí. ¿verdad? Sí, de acuerdo. Perfecto, me parece bueno, bien. Gracias, bien. teacher. Muy amable. Gracias, Feliz, noche. Feliz noche. Y no sé, ¿eh, ¿alguien más tiene una pregunta, chicos? Ok. Efraín, uh, Carmen, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Ok. Ok. 